Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video. So I had this dream on the 27th of July, 2021, and it came in three parts. First part of the dream, I was at the bank machine and I knew I had $62 in the bank and I was about to retreat and I did take out $20. So, but as I was at the bank machine, first of all, it was at night. Everything was kind of dark. And um, that's when I noticed these two thieves. And they were coming close to me as I was like dialing, doing the bank machine. And, and they, they started coming really close. And I rebuked them. I said, hey, move over. Don't come near me. Like I, I was like making aware that I saw them and that they need to give me space as I'm taking out the money and doing the transaction. And I did it in such authority that they did not rob me or hit me or, you know, because it was at night and I was alone and they were, they were there, the two. It was two men. Um, you know, anything could have happened, but no. And I took my $20 and left. Second part of the dream. Um, it's like another thing, but, but I just noticed that they seem to be related, these three dreams. So the second dream, I entered into this Lebanese restaurant because I needed to go to the bathroom really bad. And the reason was that I had my period. So I went all the way to the back where the kitchen was to find the bathroom. And I noticed on the floor there was a few drops of blood. Then I, I got out of the bathroom and I saw blood in the front of my white skirt. And I had a long gray wool coat. So I covered myself. And like I hid, because I was a bit embarrassed, I had blood on my um, white skirt. Uh, so I, I, I put my coat on and I left with this girl. And she brought me to her house and she was very, very rich. Like she had a mansion and there was many of her friends were there. And so she brought me to this mansion. And at one point, all of a sudden, she doesn't talk to me as I'm talking to her. She doesn't respond. And I notice her friends, too. They just, they don't want to address a word to me anymore. They, they're like ignoring me, even though I'm there. And it's because my white skirt has blood on it. And at this point, I can't hide it any longer. There's no more coat. I mean, it's obvious. I'm wearing the skirt. Everybody could see the blood. Um, and I'm very hurt because I feel betrayed by this friend. Um, and, and that the girls are almost like uh, shunning me. They're, they're like I'm nothing. Like, like, like. They don't even want to talk to me. I'm not worth even their breath. They don't want to talk to me. And this is when I, I take my phone and I dial the number to my friend, an old dear friend of mine, whose name is Cindy Sue Miller. And when I, and I talk to her, and now I'm leaving the mansion and I'm talking and I'm talking. And at first it's because I'm hurt. And, and next thing you know, I'm walking in this... Uh, street like now I'm in a city and even though there's like uh, sounds and things and I'm still talking still talking and I noticed that she's still there she's always there and I'm like I'm so happy you were home and you know I've been thinking of you and I'm sorry I didn't call you sooner and and I was just like so comforted and impressed that no matter how long of a conversation, by now I'm talking to her like four hours on the phone, she's still on the phone. And, and that's how this part of the dream ended. 
Then the last part, or the last dream, I should say, I'm in the kitchen, and now I'm with, I'm married to a man named Steve, and we have a couple of kids. And I am extremely happy. I'm happy. I'm feeling happy. I, I look at my husband, my children. I am like, this is the best thing ever. And that's how it finishes. Um, so uh, if I go back to the symbolisms, um, or maybe I'll, I'll start with, with the end, okay? It ends well. It ends well, and Steve, the name Steve means crown, it means garland, it means honor, it means royalty. So who has these attributes but our Lord Jesus Christ? Uh, you know, he's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, therefore he's royal, and um and he's, he's the king, and he is also, he represents our bridegroom, as we are the bride of Christ, the ones that believe in Jesus. Now the kids, so this is a whole different, so it could mean different things. This could mean how, you know, we are the bride, and, and I'm not sure about the children. I mean, this could mean like, you know, after we are raptured, um, but also, it could actually mean that the Lord has plans for me. Maybe he has a husband and he has plans to give me children. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of hoping the rapture is any day now, soon. The world is, is, is it's getting scarier out there. Uh, but, you know... If the Lord has plans for me to do the impossible, because it would really be impossible, almost. Uh, um, but God, with God, all things are possible. So that is like amazing, wonderful. And I guess the last thing it could be maybe in the uh, thousand year reign, maybe were to have family. I don't know. I don't know, but I know that it ends well, and we know that with Jesus we have victory, and we have eternal life. And we can count on this, because that's what it says in the Bible. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go back to the first part of the dream, where I was at the machine, the bank machine, and the money, when I looked up 60 and the number 2, I found like 60 meant pride and two could mean division. Like it, it, it came out like a bit like negative. So it could be that 62 represents the world. Uh, it represents the Antichrist spirit um, um, that is full of pride where there's the division. And this is what we're living right now at this time. Now, the taking out the 20, the number 20 represents redemption, also represents holiness. So we are the redeemed when we uh, uh, believe in Jesus um, and, and we, we uh, give him our whole life and we depend on him. Um, I was just reading Psalms 107. Uh, something about the redeem of the Lord that say that God is good. And here the thieves represent uh, the Antichrist spirit. Uh, it represents, you know, the enemy trying to steal uh, our redemption, trying to steal our peace, trying to steal our happiness, um, uh, with, with um, you know, how it says in John 10.10, 10, for the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come to give us life and more abundantly. Um, so that would be for that part of the dream. 
the rest, this whole thing with I'm in the kitchen and this restaurant and with the white skirt with the blood, well, the blood again represents Jesus because we are redeemed by what he did on the cross and, and by the blood he shed. Um, and, and when I'm rejected here, uh, I believe this represents the world, and especially now with all the divisions, uh, I myself, um, and I know many people have to do very difficult, um, it's, it's hard to stand in our decision of not taking the jab. Uh, um, I know myself personally, I have family, friends, neighbors that have rejected me, you know, my family has told me, like, if I'm not going to take it, I'm not welcome to the Christmas if we have gathering. Or already, but this I knew, I expected. And, and Jesus tells us in the word that they will hate you because of me. Um, you know, don't be surprised. We, we shouldn't be surprised, but it does hurt. It hurts. Um to see the reality, because we are human, but we have Jesus, and we have the Holy Spirit, and every day we can talk to Him. And the name Cindy Sue Miller, Cindy, uh, one of the meanings means bri uh, bringer of light. Sue, or Susan, means lily, and Miller is a mill, you know, to... to um, you can mill um, uh, corn or um, flour. So it's like being in a trial, but even through the trials, the light is Jesus that brings us hope, all of his promises. He's always there for us, always, always. And even when we're hurt, I was hurt the other day, and I was going to just, I was so hurt um, because of, the jab and you know they're telling us like it's your fault if we can't have any liberties anymore these kind of things and I was about to write something to this person that hurt me and as I wrote down my pain I said okay I have to pray and I prayed and all of a sudden the Lord brought me right to Luke 627 love your enemies and pray for them and pray for those who persecute you and hurt you. And, and it's beautiful. It goes on and on of how, as children of God, we are to have mercy on people like God has mercy. So it changed my heart completely. All of a sudden, I was forgiving. All of a sudden, I was praying for the person that hurt me. Um... And, and I was, and you know, he guides us in all our ways, right? Um, so that's what happened. And, and, and in the end, guys, we're going to be victorious. But now it's a little time of uh, uh, trial. We got to stand strong, stand firm. And um, the last thing uh, I'm going to share uh, this song um, what a friend we have in Jesus. You know that song? What a friend we have in Jesus. Um, at some point it says, like the whole song, it says to bring everything to Him in prayer. We should never be discouraged. Take it to Lord in prayer. What a peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Um, yes, let's not forget to um, really lean on the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all our heart and our souls. And, and let's not lean on our own understanding of what's happening, of what the world looks like. And, you know, in all our ways, 
uh, acknowledge the Lord and He is going to direct our paths and He is going to protect us and He is going to save, save us and help us, rescue us. And He does permit certain things to happen, hard times. He didn't say that we wouldn't have hard times. And, and in a way, I'm grateful at this time because it helps us to even be closer to Him and to get to know Him even more intimately. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for the dreams that you give us. Thank you for this way that you have us that we can communicate uh, through the internet. God, uh, seal this message with your precious blood. And I plead the blood of Jesus on everyone that's watching. Lord, I ask for the firewall of protection over every single person watching, over us, under us, and all around us. Firewall of protection over our homes, over our families, our pets, our provisions, our electronic devices, and our money, and our money transactions, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your provision, Lord, as you always provide. And thank you, Father God, for giving us your peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. May we be encouraged to come to you with all of our problems, no matter how small. And um, I pray all these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Um, so, guys, that's it for today. Let's stand strong together in the power and might of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. See you next time. Shalom. Bye-bye.